Good evening, everyone. A miserable day for investors in Best Buy. The world's largest electronics retailer didn't live up to its name, at least when it comes to its stock. It plunged almost 30 percent today. Investors dumped the shares after the company reported it had poor sales during the holiday shopping season, saying it suffered from heavy competition and deep discounting. Hot selling products were in short supply, smartphone sales were slow, and with so many people shopping online, fewer people came into its stores. Sales fell nearly 1 percent instead of rising. Courtney Reagan spoke with Best Buy CEO and has more on what's next for the struggling retailer. Best Buy shares gained a staggering 240 percent in 2013 as Wall Street began to put stock in its turnaround strategy. But today, Best Buy shed more than three and a half billion dollars in market cap value after revealing a bummer of a holiday season. Sales at Best Buy's U.S. stores open at least a year fell 0.9 percent compared to the year prior. Wall Street had forecast same store sales growth. On a conference call with analyst Best Buy CEO Hubert Jolie remained resolute in his commitment to the longer term turnaround strategy. We've hit a speed bump. And we don't want to minimize it because, frankly, we care deeply about our month-to-month -month performance. But our sense is that it doesn't change the, the overall story. Uh, it doesn't change the long-term perspective. It doesn't change the, uh, the priorities and the, the trajectory. In order to compete in the most promotional holiday season in years, Best Buy joined rivals and cut prices to get shoppers into the stores. On the phone this morning, Jolie told me this holiday's promotional environment was extreme. But it didn't create industry demand. Jolie also said he didn't think anyone expected mobile sales to fall, but it happened. I sometimes find products here a little bit more pricier than others. I'll go home and I'll look for it on Amazon or eBay. In-store purchases are more clothing, retail, that kind of thing. I think I still mix it up a little bit and check out stores. I look online, go to the store, then I come back and purchase it online if I can't get a bargain in the store. The electronics category in general has been tough. Target had said that too. So, you know, I, even though Amazon probably did take a little bit of share, I'm not so sure yet that they'll come out and say that they had gangbuster electronic sales. But electronics are the key pillar of Best Buy's product offering. Oppenheimer's Brian Nagel is downgrading shares, saying today's report is, quote, a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities in the company's business model. Jannie's David Strasser, however, thinks Best Buy is just a victim of a tough environment and recommends buying shares on the dip because the company continues to gain market share. Gaining share is good, but marking prices lower and lower compresses margins, cuts into profit, and frustrates investors. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan.